going on everybody it's your girl sneaker mom back in the building back with another review guys today i'm going to be reviewing a new women's jordan one high starfish let's get into it this is freeze at music First, you're going to start off with the box. It's all red with the black Nike on the top. You got your black Nike on the side. Same on this side. Let's start to get into the front of the box. And it reads, Women's Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. And the colorway is white, starfish, Coco Wild, Sale. Let's get into it. Opening up the box, you got the same normal stamp of approval right here on the top of the box. Same normal cream tissue paper, nothing spectacular. But let's go ahead and get into the main ingredient of this video. And that is the Women's Air Jordan 1. Starfish. All right, first of all, I want to start off by saying this right here was a must, must have for the collection. This shoe right here, I mean, it was just the colorway. I love the colorway, I love the orange, and then how it has the brown with it, and then you got that cell on the bottom. Just a very nice touch of the shoe. Love the shoe. Very nice fall shoe, but of course, you can still wear it year round. But this right here is a perfect fall shoe with this colorway. Let's go ahead and get into the aspects of the shoe. As you can see, you got your all whites and your oranges. You got this nice, uh, I would say it's like a, it's a good texture of leather right here on the top of the toe that's all white. You got that nice orange material coming across the front of the toe and that nice uh, tumbled leather, leather also. Coming to the side right here, you got that orange Nike check with that white leather in the background. Coming back to the back of the heel, you still got that all orange leather in the back coming all the way up to the top of the heel. We had this nice brown material right here on the top of the heel and then a uh, brown leather. Coming back to the lateral side of the shoe, you got that nice uh, Nike Air, I mean Air Jordan wings right here on the side and that orange, I mean not orange, and that brown uh, stamp inside the shoe. You got an uh, orange Nike chip right here with that white leather in the back. Still got those uh, orange coming up inside the shoelaces. And as you can see, I don't know what this is right here. That seems like it's something new. I don't know, they just ran out of places to put the stitching, but they added a little extra line of a stitching right here on the side of the shoe. I don't know why, but it doesn't really bother you. You just notice it because it's not normally on the Jordan ones. So that little stitch right there. You got this nice cell uh, rubber on this um, midsole of the shoe. We're gonna come back up right here to the shoelaces. That's all orange, as you can see. Nice orange material with that uh, nice background of that cell. Nike Air right here on the tongue of the shoe and the orange. Inside the shoe, you just got Nike Air and orange. Can't really see that. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it going on with the shoe. Just overall, a nice orange, white, and brown Air Jordan 1. <laughs> like I said, a very nice, very clean, nice fall colorway. Definitely going to be ready to um, throw these on feet. You still got that nice all rubber orange on the bottom of the shoe. Looking at the shoe, if I was a Browns fan, I would be totally excited because this is the Browns colors. They might well call the Air Jordan 1 Browns. Cause this is their color to the T. Sorry, not a Browns fan. You know, had to insert that Falcons all day. You know, I know we suck, whatever. But yeah, this is it right here. This was the uh, left shoe. Let's go ahead and get to the right shoe. It looks the same as that waist. So we have a little extra accessories on this shoe. As you can see, it comes with a hang tag right here. Nike Air. That's all orange leather with the brown Nike Air in the back. And they got this nice gold little uh, beaded uh, clip to hold on to the side of the shoe. Then it comes with this other little uh, brown thing right here that has a Jordan symbol right here on the top. And then in the back of it, you got a basketball hooked on to the uh, front of the shoelaces also. I don't know really what this is for, but it's a nice touch to the shoe. Definitely not going to keep it on there when I'm wearing them, but just a nice touch to the shoe for the overall presentation. Very nice. Still looks the same way with the orange laces. Um, but we do have something different with these. As we all know, Nike has gone to their move to zero line. So we have laces right here in this box. It's on the inside. There's some cell laces. Definitely think I'm going to be switching out to the cell laces. Got to put them in first to see how they're going to actually look. 
but they do come with some sale laces, so that's a very nice touch to the shoe. So you can either go with the orange laces, as you can see, or you can put in these sale laces. I think the sale laces will bring it out some, but overall, these orange laces still look good. Also, but like I said, just a nice shoe, sale, midsole, bottom of the shoe, all orange, rubber, overall clean shoe. Only part I don't like that I do have to say is this right here in the foot area. I don't know why they made this white. I mean, come on. I mean, come on, Nike. I mean... Because if you wear some blue jeans with these that's new, it's going to bleed. It's going to bleed all around the ankle area. So hopefully, you know, I don't even know what to say to prevent it. Because it's really not to prevent it. You're just going to have that ring around the top if you wear some new uh, jeans with it. So if you don't want to mess that up, I would say stick to wearing shorts. But hey, as we all know, it's, it's fall, winter season. So time to pull out the uh, pants. Unless you just wear some joggers with this. But like I said, overall, this would be clean with some nice jeans on. Um, but I guess if you wear some jeans, try to get the kind that goes over the ankle so it don't sit around the ankle part so it won't stain. I'm assuming that's all we really can do. But overall, nice shoe. They just should have left this out. Or either they should have made it brown. So if you did wear uh, jeans that bleed, it, you wouldn't see it. But overall, that's my only complaint about the shoe. Very nice shoe. Very clean shoe. I'm glad I was able to get them. They don't come out in the um, U.S. until October 27th. They're going to retail for, of course, we know the new retail price, $180. They come in women's sizes. So, men, if you're trying to go for these, I think the high size they will go up to will be a men's 10 and a half, which is a women's 12. So, if you wear 10 and a half, you're good to go. But 11 on up, sorry, you won't be able to cop these. And another thing about the shoe, I think they said it was supposed to be uh, reminding you of a Birkin bag. I don't know. I don't have a Birkin bag. So, I can't say the comparison on why. I'm assuming that's what this little tip right here is for. But if you know down in the com let me know down in the comments below what is the difference. I mean, what is the comparison with the Birkin bag? Um, let me know because I don't know. I guess I should have did some more research. I didn't. Oh, well. Let me know down in the comments below. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these. Is the Women's Air Jordan 1 Starfish. And let me know you're going to go for these when they come out on October 22nd or are you going to pass on them? Just let me know so we can uh, chop it up down in the comments below. And um, that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. So if you do to watch my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can know when I post all my videos. Follow me on Instagram at sneakermom1721. And another thing I did want to say, size and wise, as we all know, most people that wear Jordans, you get your true size in the Jordan ones. But if you like a looser fit, you go half a size up. But me, I always just go true to size. So true to size, you should be good. But remember, these are women's sizes. So if you're going for these, make sure you pick your women's size only. And you should be good to go. But that's all I got for y'all today. So until the next time, it's your girl, Sneaker Mom. Peace.